Contracts worth £350 million have been awarded to the firms that will build Britain's next generation nuclear deterrent submarines. The design contracts have been awarded, even though no final decision has been taken on whether to build the boats. Coalition partners, the Liberal Democrats, are opposed to a like-for-like -like replacement of the current subs, Will Inglis reports. Britain's Trident missiles and warheads are good for decades to come. But whatever replaces the Vanguard-class submarines needs to be ready by 2028. Today's announcement doesn't represent any kind of a policy shift. In fact, large amounts of money are already being spent on, for instance, upgrading the atomic weapons establishments, on designing with the Americans the common missile compartment. That's the part of these submarines that actually fires the Trident missiles. Now, the Strategic Defence and Security Review committed the MOD to continuing this work, which all started in principle, at least, under the last government. The Liberal Democrats, though, are fundamentally opposed to what they term a like-for-like replacement for Trident and Lib Dem Armed Forces Minister Nick Harvey is working with officials inside the Ministry of Defence on trying to find a cheaper alternative. It's appropriate before we embark upon a like-for-like -like replacement to consider whether or not there are other viable alternatives and one of the things which would give impetus to that would be if we were to decide to abandon that the United Kingdom acting alone would need to have the ability to penetrate Moscow's defences and cause untold damage and loss of life. The contracts awarded today are part of a three billion pound investment in design work announced last year. 328 million pounds goes to BAE Systems for design work. Four million goes to Rolls-Royce for reactor work. And 15 million goes to Babcock to plan for through life support. In all the government says 1900 jobs should be created or sustained. But a final decision on whether to spend billions more actually building the new subs has been put off until after the next election. Between now and then, there's every opportunity to consider whether or not there are other cheaper alternatives and alternatives which would reduce the salience, the importance of nuclear weapons in our defence. The Liberal Democrat-led search for alternatives to Trident should report later this year, but is likely to be kept secret. Will Inglis, Forces News, Westminster.